This week's School Friday's book recommendation is Sissy, A Coming of Gender Story by Jacob Tobiah. I listened to this in audiobook and I really enjoyed hearing Jacob's take on their life and their coming out. And I love the way that they talked about it as not a closet, but a snail. You kind of go back into your shell when life is hard and the world is hard. It's not this giant, woohoo, I'm open and out in the closet and you do it once and that's your queerness and that's your gender queerness and that's your gender. No, as a queer person, I know, and as a gender non-conforming person, I understand that coming out is something we do a lot, and sometimes we duck back into that shell when the world feels unsafe. And I really loved the permission that Jacob Tobiah gives in this book to explore myself, to explore my gender. I felt like them telling their story and me understanding how they went about the journey and the ways that they were shoved back in their shell by society and they were discredited and told to be lesser than by society really helped me understand my own queer and gender, my own journey as well. It's the kind of book that made me laugh a ton. Jacob Tobiah has a witty sense of humor that is both sarcastic and flamboyant and amazing in so many ways. So I laughed a lot. And I also found myself really reflecting on my own queer journey, on the way that I treat genderqueer people in my life, including myself as a genderqueer person. And it really had me thinking about the the systems and the structures and the way in which we play small as queer and genderqueer people, as people who don't quite fit into societal norms, as people in general trying to get through in this world. It is a book that inspired me to tell more honest truths about my own gender struggles, my own struggles isn't even the right word, like my own gender journey and my own queer journey. It impacted me in a really beautiful way that I felt changed me. And I think that it's a beautiful book, really well written. If you are somebody who doesn't have experience with gender queerness or with, you know, queer or gender queer kids, especially if you're a parent raising a kid, I would highly suggest reading this book or listening to this book. Jacob Tobias does a really great way of making you understand what their needs were as a kid and how you can support kids who are coming out, kids and, you know, into adulthood. And I think that we don't read enough stories by hairy, masculine presenting people that wear feminine dress and feminine stuff. And I think I say it that way, not because they are genderqueer, they are feminine, they are masculine, they are both. But I say it that way because often we we have these preconceived notions of what it looks like to be queer what it looks like to be trans, what it looks like to be genderqueer. And I think Jacob Tobiah really helps us understand how our own crap we put on others can really affect our own selves and the selves and the identity and the safety that the people who who we put our own crap on deal with, right? Like, as a queer person, I understand homophobia. As a genderqueer person, I understand gender norms, but I didn't quite get it as well as Jacob Tobiah said it. I didn't, I don't have that lived experience that Jacob Tobiah had. So if you're somebody who doesn't have that lived experience, and if you're somebody who does have that lived experience and you want to feel less alone, I highly suggest picking up a copy of Jacob Tobiah's Sissy, A Coming of Gender Story. I really, really enjoyed hearing Jacob speak it themselves. So I think uh, it's a really great recommendation for audiobook. I would definitely listen to this on audiobook. As you can see, I'm rambling because this was such a profound book. And I think we need more books written by sissies out there in the world. We need more books by people who don't look like what we want as society people to look like and dress like and act like. And instead, Jacob is actually exactly how I want someone to look like, dress like and act like. They look like my friends. They look like my colleagues. They look like the people in my life. And if they don't look like the people in your life, ask yourself why. We gender queer people, we queer people, we're out there. Jacob Tobias is out there. We There are so many people like Jacob out there in the world. And I think this gives a really great insight into that life and a really great perspective that I think we all could use. So if you are looking for a new book to read, a memoir to read, I would highly suggest Jacob Tobias' book, Sissy, and I really, really suggest it on audiobook. 
If you're going to get it through audiobook, I highly recommend using Libro.fm. Not only does that support a independent bookstore, but if you use our link that we have in the bio, you get a free audiobook and we get a free audiobook. Libro.fm is a really great alternative to that big name company that we don't like to talk about around here. And it's a great way to support a local independent bookstore and to support the School for Writers podcast. If you're more of a handheld book kind of person, we also have a bookshop.org link down in the bio for you to use as well that supports a local independent bookstore as well and supports the School for Writers podcast. Once again, if I don't care who you are, just go out and read this book. I think that it's a really important book for anybody who wants to understand the queer and the gender queer and the sissy experience. So go grab yourself a copy of Jacob Tobias' memoir, Sissy. You can grab yourself a copy using the links in our bio and support the School for Writers podcast. Happy listening.